Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this base shake effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you see right here, this is what the base shake effect looks like right here. I just basically have this timed to the beat of the music. As you can see, the screen just shakes right here. And what that does, it just kind of, you know, makes a bigger impact than there actually is. Obviously, you know, without the shake effect, you didn't really hit them that hard. The, the entire, like, you know, world shook. But it's definitely a really cool effect to kind of emphasize just how hard you know, a hit is or you know, in boxing maybe someone throws like a really big punch or you know someone dunks uh, the basketball. Like you want to show, kind of like emphasize that impact. Again, obviously it's not that big of an impact, but it's kind of really cool to be able to emphasize it and make it look even more extreme um, than it actually is. And I'm sure athletes that you know you do this to or have this effect applied to, maybe it makes it cooler because they realize, oh, I, 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 I hit a lot harder than I actually did. That's because you know using visual effects. Uh, so I think it's definitely a really cool um, idea. I'm gonna go ahead and basically just break down um, how to create this effect. Um, there are no plugins. This actually this effect you actually have to create manually. And I actually got this idea from a channel called Brad and Donna. So I want to give them the proper credit. I didn't just you know magically come up with this idea out of thin air. So basically what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break it down. Here are the markers um, uh, right here. So basically what I did was I went ahead and just went frame by frame so he's frame by frame by frame as you can see right here and then watch him right here he goes back right here so here's where the impact is here's where the see where this marker is this is where the impact starts right here so as you see right here you just basically kind of go frame by frame so frame by frame right here and then boom this is where the impact happens so this is where I want the effect to start all I'm doing is I'm just pressing the right and left arrow keys just to go frame by frame. As you can see right here, here's the impact starts. Now all of a sudden he starts to go back. So the impact starts right here. And as you can see right here, here's a marker on the beat. So wherever the, the effect starts, I put a marker there. And I also put a marker exactly where the beat drops. That way it lines up perfectly. So as soon as the beat drops, the effect happens. So it's a really cool kind of bang bang um, kind of play. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead, click on the clip right here. I'm gonna go ahead, head over to scale. I'm gonna increase the scale scale uh, by 10 percent so it was 125 so 135 and basically you want to increase the scale because you're gonna move the position around and you want you don't want to have any um, black bars um, just because if I move the, if I move the video around and the scales the normal speed uh, the normal size you're gonna see some black spots and obviously um, you don't want to right there so what I'm gonna do is now that I increase the scale I'm gonna go out to 50% right here so I'll go to 50% right here and over here all I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna in, enable the transparency grid so you can see right here this is what it looks like right here and then here's everything in frame and then here is everything um, out of frame right here so what I'm gonna do is when this is where the impact happens I'm gonna go back one frame where the red marker is right here I'm gonna go ahead and place a keyframe on position right here and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead um, one frame right here and then I'm gonna move the position in the opposite direction so he's hitting him this way so I'm gonna move the position in the opposite direction direction what that does is it just helps emphasize um, the hit so I'm just moving in the opposite direction of the impact so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead the, I'm gonna go ahead another frame right here I'm gonna move the position up right here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next frame right here I'm gonna move the position um, right here go to the next frame right here I'm gonna move the position be like right here and then I'm gonna go to where this chapter marker is right here I'm gonna go ahead and change the position to zero right here and if, if you play it back and nothing happened it means you didn't um, keyframe it so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead over here and as you can see right here so I'll go ahead and play it right here so I'll go back right here so you can see now as you can see it just keyframed the position right there and you can just mess with the position until you get the look that you want. I'm going to go ahead and just play it right here and just see how it looks. See if there's anything I need to tweak right here. Obviously you know you can't hear the music because I don't want to clash uh, with the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and play it right here. Let's see how it looks right here. Then obviously you know you can make adjustments. So how does it look right here and then boom as you can see there you go. See the whole screen shakes when he hits it. I think that's maybe Deion Jones. I don't know exactly what you can see right here. As soon as he hits it, as soon as Delvin Cook hits that guy right here, as you can see the entire um, screen shakes right there. It's a really good way of emphasizing, you know, really big impact.
You can see there you go. The entire screen shakes and it creates this really cool effect. Now obviously you can go back and adjust the position. You can make it more extreme. You can increase the scale. That way you can move the clip a lot farther. You can make it really extreme, really subtle. It all depends right there. But you can see that's a really um, cool effect. It's not the best example, but you gotta get the idea um, right there. Now there's a couple things you can do to make, well I guess really one thing to make it better. What you could do is you could head over here. Obviously you could download the motion blur plugin. I'll put the link to the motion blur plugin right here. So motion blur and then I can use moderate motion blur too. All you're doing is you're putting the motion blur over where the keyframes are right here. Obviously you could, do the, you could show keyframe animation, but I have markers right there so you can see right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on the clip right here, right click, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on show video animations. As you can see here, the keyframes key right here, just in case you forgot to mark your uh, clip, you can go ahead and click, click, uh, click on show video animations. I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, hide video animations, because obviously I don't wanna see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it right here. Let's see what it looks like with the motion blur, because it's key from you always with that motion blur when you keyframe. As you can see here, boom, there we go. Obviously, maybe you don't like that kind of like blur effect. When you have motion blur, and hence blur, it's gonna create a little bit of a blur effect. So it depends on your look, depends on if you want it, but that's what it looks like right there. With motion blur, I showed you the example without motion blur, and this is with motion blur. I think it actually makes the impact um, a lot harsher, or makes it a lot bigger, so it just depends on um, your personal preference and whatever you know uh, look that you like right there So we'll head over here to the base shake effect and then here is the final edit right here You know I've you know, put a little more time and effort into the keyframing so you can see right here Here's moderate motion blur. So I'll kind of go one two three four five Right here, and that's pretty much it right here. So what you, all you're gonna do right here is I'll kind of go like this I'll go ahead and scroll out right here to 50% I'll go ahead and enable the transparency grid so you can see right here I just just placed a keyframe right here. The next frame right here, I just moved the position over in the opposite direction of the impact, and then I went one, two, three right here. I just moved the position all over the place, and then after this, I went ahead and just reset the position um, back to zero right there, and that's pretty much it. So you see right here, it's a very simple um, and easy effect. A very simple and easy effect right there. Maybe it takes you, you know, a little bit of time right there, but as you can see, there we go. You're just basically moving. I mean, you're starting off with the in the opposite in the opposite direction, and then you're just moving the key from the position around. You know, in any position that you want right there. You know, it's all up to you. There is no, you know right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of mess with it, and it depends on your clip. So. Go ahead and just experiment with your clip. See if it works, see if it doesn't. You know, maybe this impact effect, even though there is some sort of impact, it just doesn't look good. It all depends on your clip. Every clip is different, but I just wanted to show you the basics of how to create this really cool base shake effect. And again, you can increase the scale if you want a much harder kind of screen shake. Obviously, this clip is pretty cropped in, so I can't really do much uh, with that. So maybe if you're doing impact effects, like boxing videos, maybe you want to shoot a little bit on a, on a wider lens. That way you can, anytime you're filming something that probably has like some sort of big impact film on a wider lens that way you could zoom in a lot closer and create this digital screen shake or you could try to you know do it yourself like in camera shake I, I'm gonna take a guess it's probably really hard to do I've never tried that but that seems really hard it seems a lot easier just to digitally fake it right there as you can see right there boom and there are probably tons of screen shake plugins you could buy but this one's completely free maybe it takes three minutes longer but I think it's worth it because you have a lot more um, manual control and that's pretty much it anyways hopefully enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you do these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 final cut pro 10 tutorials anyways i'll see you in the next one peace